Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is our air, which is really the core of our sound, right? Like I said, that's what creates sound in a wind instrument. Um, so this here is a picture of Arnold Jacobs, and he was a famous tuba player. He played with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. He was also a famous teacher. Um, but what's unique about him is that due to some health complications, his breath capacity was actually only slightly larger than that of one lung. So you can imagine the tuba takes a lot of air to play, right? Um, so that was a challenge for him, and he ended up developing a lot of breathing exercises to work on that. Um, and he ended up being really especially sought after for his expertise on breathing for brass instruments, because he's a tuba player, but also for winds and for vocalists. So the first set of exercises we're going to do are some of his breathing exercises. Um, and if you want to see him actually teach these after the class, you can search it up on YouTube and watch some videos of him teaching these to some students, but we're just gonna go through a few of them now. So I'll demonstrate, hopefully you'll join in with me, but no one can see you, I can't see you, so. Um, this first exercise we're gonna do is you're gonna try to empty out all your air, have empty lungs, um, then just freeze like that and hold, you're not exactly holding your breath, right? Cause it's all out, but you're just gonna hold like that without breathing in for as long as you can take it before it starts to feel really uncomfortable. That shouldn't ever really be more than 30 seconds. It's probably gonna be less than that. Um, then when that time is up, we're just gonna take a really, really big inhale and you're gonna fully fill your lungs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and hopefully you will join in with me. So first we're gonna breathe out. Hold it for a second. And then when you're ready, take a really big breath in like I just did. So what this extra exercise should show you um, is how much air you're able to take in in one breath and how much it takes to fill your lungs. So the second exercise, we're gonna once again, start with our lungs empty. Um, and then I'll just sort of count, oh, snap with my fingers. Um, and we're gonna inhale nice and steady and slow for a count of six and then exhale nice and steady and slow for a count of six. So one thing you can visualize while you're doing this exercise is a string player using the full length of their bow, right? So for a string player, the bow creates the sound. So you can imagine their bow is moving nice and slow across the string, nice and steady, and they're using the entire length of the bow to sustain a note. So for us, our air is like the bow, right? Because it creates the sound. So visualize that and try this one with me as well. So first we're gonna breathe out, and then inhale for my count of six and exhale for my count of six. So. So this is another good one to practice really um, slowly filling and emptying your lungs and making sure you're taking in as much air as you can and then pushing it all out. Um, his third exercise now is gonna sort of pick up the pace a little bit. So we're gonna pretend we're counting a measure of five beats. So the first four you're gonna exhale steadily as if you were playing the clarinet, right? So a nice, fast, steady exhale. Um, and then that entire fifth beat is going to be used as an inhale. And the goal is to replace all the air that you just blew out. So you want to take in as much air in that one beat as you exhaled for the first four. So I'll conduct again and we'll try that one together. Good, so that one is the same idea, right? It's replacing all the air you lost and breathing nice and steadily, but that time you had to inhale faster. So now we're gonna take that up another little notch. So this is gonna be the same idea as number three, but it's only gonna be a measure of four beats. So we're gonna exhale for the first three and a half. And then on that last half beat, that last eighth note, you're gonna inhale. So you wanna consciously think about how much air are you spending, are you using, are you exhaling for those first three and a half counts and try and replace all of that spent air in that last eighth note. So it's a much faster breath, but it should still be a deep quality breath. So here we go.
Awesome. So hopefully you did all of those along with me and got to experiment with that a little bit.